She says her name is Heather Asplund. Doesn't her name just make you want to bring her home to meet me? Oh, yeah, by the way, happy birthday. You like what you see? What do you say we have ourselves a perfect day? Oh, Mama, I thought you'd never ask. Happy Valentine's Day, you two. <laughs> you go, Johnny. <laughs> yeah, baby. You go. Just adore you. No, I'm not insane. I don't even know what you're trying to Johnny, you are the best date ever! You too, ever. Before we go any further, there is something that I have to tell you. Don't tell me you're a werewolf. No. An antelope? No. A female impersonator? No, nothing like that. Then can we see each other again? What the... Sir, step away from the girl and nobody gets hurt. <laughs> Yeah, that'll teach you. Anyhow, where was I? I don't know, but all I have to say is, whoa, mama. Oh, yeah. I don't know how to put this lightly, but I'm actually a counterintelligence spy working for the CIA, trying to take down an underground group of spies who claim to be an offshoot of the CIA, but are actually part of the bad guys. Want to see me comb my hair really fast? I didn't think that I could fall for you, but it seems I have. And that's a problem because... I'm sorry, I have to do this, but... <laughs> hey, that feels me... <gasps> when I count to three, you will fall into a deep sleep and forget that you ever met me. Sleep? Forget? Do I have to? <laughs> yes, you must forget that I ever existed. Oh, man. One... Two... Three... Are you an alien? Will you stop poking me? Well, there goes my finder's fee. Wait a second. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> oh, man! Valentine's Day is over and I missed my chance at getting a date. Just keep on walking or it might talk to us. I wish I could remember what I did tonight. Speaking of wishes, I wish somebody remembered it was my birthday. Surprise! What the? Happy birthday, Valentine's Day, Johnny Yes, happy birthday slash Valentine's Day, honey. You didn't think we'd forget today of all days. Party, party, party. Party, party, party. Hey, Mama, who are all those people? Honestly, Johnny, I don't know. All I did was put a sign outside that read free cake, and then all of a sudden they all came. Look, Johnny, I saved you the biggest slice. So, how was your date with Heather? Heather? Heather, 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 Heather. Seriously, do I look like a Heather? 
Sorry, doesn't ring a bell. Oh, that's strange. She called me on her cell phone and said that she was just about to meet you. I mean, I gave her a description of you and everything. Yeah, well, maybe she was too intimidated by my bug appeal. Oh, honey, don't give up hope. Did I mention you got a package from an honest-to-goodness secret admirer? And this one's for real. Not like the past couple of years where we faked them. <laughs> Dear Johnny, you're a beautiful person. That's all fun. Ain't that the truth? Oh, Johnny, your secret admirer sounds like she's one in a million. That's right. What am I doing here? My day isn't even over yet. I still have a couple of hours to find my Valentine slash birthday date. Maybe she's in there eating cake. Or maybe she's delivering our pizza. You ordered a large Supreme? Say, baby, what do you say we trade your pizza for my packs? Oh, by the way, I think you're getting a better bargain. That'll be $18.99. Keep the change. Are you sure you don't want to lick this off me? Oh. Happy Valentine's Day. Goodbye, pizza girl. One down, nine fat. Hey, Mama, what's one million minus one? 999,999. Wow, I'm gonna need a lot more cologne. I was kind of hoping that we. I was going to send Jimmy some caramels for Valentine's Day, but I thought they might get caught in his headgear. Don't go anywhere because coming up next, it's Ed, Ed, and Eddie's Hanky Panky Hullabaloo. Only on Cartoon Network.